Hello guys! In this video, I will have you to pass chapter 22. As always, without S equipment, tag parts and with low attack. Plus, I don't have talents on the right side unlocked, which makes it much harder for me to pass this chapter. So to pass chapter 22, you need 2500 attack and baseball bat. Equipment must be seized. But if you have S equipment, use them. They give you higher attack, health and most of them have better skills. The same situation with weapons. If you have light chaser or void power, use them instead of baseball bat. It will let you to pass this chapter even with lower attack. Ok guys, now about skills. Beside your main weapon, you need soccer ball, break, durian and RPG for sure. And the last skill on your choice. But it's better to have lightning emitter. These three supply skills you need to evolve your weapon skills. Besides them, we'll get to have energy cube, power bullet and ammo thruster. If you have more than 2500 attack, then you may pass this chapter without 1-3 skills that are needed, but with them it will be way easier. And there is one more important scene you should know. With metal neck guard, you need or fuel or power bullet as the first skill. So you will have not plus 50%, you'll get plus 65% increase. Ok guys, in the first 5 minutes, besides choosing the right skills, focus only on baseball bat, fuel and power bullet. Having them hard start, especially till minute 2 and 30 seconds, will let you to kill more enemies. So as a result, you'll gain more skills. In this run, I upgraded my baseball bat to 5 stars till the 3rd minute. And just look how it's easier for me to kill these tough enemies, these boars, with my low attack. And they give blue and golden biofuel. Till the fight with the first boss would be also good to have higher star, soccer ball and lightning emitter. Daxinator is not an easy boss, especially on this map where is not a lot of space. Try to stay as far as you can guys, it will give you more time to escape from toxic pools. And we'll get to have 1 or 3 grenades on a battlefield. And of course, higher star power bullet, soccer ball or lightning emitter will make this fight much easier. After you'll kill the first boss till minute 6, it will be kinda hard to survive. But if you were focused on baseball bat, fuel and power bullet, then you won't have any problems guys. So in the next 5 minutes, keep focusing on these skills. And besides them, focus on brick and soccer ball. Try to evolve a few weapons. The second boss is not hard to beat. Here you just need a good speed. Your skills will be enough to kill him fast. Just keep a good distance and always move. It will let you to escape from the big damage when he jumps. Ok guys, after you kill the second boss till minute 13, you need to evolve your weapons. And have power bullet and fuel at least 2 stars. At minute 13 you'll have mini bosses and tough enemies. If your skills will be bad, you just you won't be able to kill enough mobs to make a pass and won't be able to escape from mini bosses. This is the hardest part guys. If you won't have the right skills and won't do enough damage, mini bosses will kill you. And to beat the final boss will be very easy with a good speed. When the boss is shivering, it means he will shoot projectiles or will run on you 3 times. Your baseball bat vanishes his projectiles, so no worries about them. And when he's running, just move perpendicular to his moves. About mobs he summons, don't even bother about them, your skills will easily kill them. And as you can see guys, 2500 attack without S equipment, tech parts and even talents on the right side is enough to pass chapter 22. You only need the right skills chosen in the right order.